Good evening, tele viewers. You welcome to Prime R on my media prime. We this day are going to be looking at uh, the standoff uh, between the Cameroon government and the CRM movement of uh, Professor Maurice Camto. A planned manifestation was announced for tomorrow, September the 22nd, 2020, across uh, the nation. The political and, so and civil society uh organizations of this country are divided as to whether to go out uh, in favor of the call to manifest uh to ask uh, president paul Bia. there are those who think that uh, it is uh, right and that the president has been there for so long and therefore should uh, move out to oust him meanwhile others uh, think that it is not a, the best way to oust a sitting uh, president and that cameroonians are not uh, ready for that move we are going to be discussing on uh, the possibility for things to go either with uh, tomorrow with our panelists who are already in the house. Two of them are there. Two are caught in traffic on their way to join us uh, to discuss uh, this uh, very, very pertinent issue. Professor Mark Antoni is in the house. Uh, good evening and welcome, Prof. Thank you, Leo, and thank you to the million viewers out there watching at us. And I want to believe this is another beautiful evening. And I also want to extend my greetings to my co-panelist, uh, Prince. Okay. Also with us is uh, Prince uh, Joel Mokage. We are glad to have you on this platform once again. Thank you very much. Good evening to Professor Mark Anthony. Good evening to those who watch in my media prime and prime R. Special good evening to Lord Nkinda Simon Sambi, former mayor of the Misaji Council, who is an architect of development so many things he has done. I want to believe that when you have opportunities like this, we are there to see how we can reconstruct and build Cameroon for a better nation. We are expecting the arrival of uh, Barista Ashu Emmanuel and uh, Dr. Ako John Ako, who have sent indications that they are caught in traffic. And uh, in the second part of the program, we are going to be uh, having a member of uh, the CRM uh, in the person of um, Alex Angepi, he will join the discussions uh, with us out here. Now, um, I'll start with you, Professor Mark Antoni. Is this uh, the time to engage for the ousting of President Paul Bia through the streets? Uh, Mr. Liu, I think that uh, to get to your question, we'll begin by saying that Naturally, according to our constitution, it is legal for Cameroonians to go out and peacefully demonstrate. But for the fact that a political leader and one who participated in the 2018 election and came out second is calling for the asking of the incumbent president through the streets, as long as I'm concerned, that is an illogical move. Why? Because I believe that what gives a political leader the opportunity to sit in the presidency is the ballot box. We are not refusing that people can't go out to the streets and actually call for the resignation of the president if in case they feel like the so the, the social contract is not being respected, which they enter through the ballot box. But the fact that this particular call for tomorrow 22nd has been made by a political leader means that there is something greater than that, an agenda beyond that. And from the intentions of uh, this particular leader, uh, pres uh, political leader, he mentioned that the purpose is to actually demand for the president to leave power. I want, in fact, to remove the president from power. That, to me, it is not the best way. And I want to say that uh, Cameroonians who are of good will, are peace-loving, who uh, uh, are actually under a situation of stress. A lot of persons are going through pain, and a lot of persons are actually facing uh, should I call troubles of different kinds and economic crises which we are facing right now in the nation. The instability in the Northwest and Southwest, the 
Boko Haram in the north and the crisis in the east coming from Central African Republic. All those situations have actually kept Cameroon in a situation where we are in a state of alert. Then, now, come to cause for a match. This is like actually saying that let's burn the country down. And to me, I don't think it's time for that because Cameroon, in a period like this, we need to look for ways to solve our problems, not necessarily by creating uh, uh, the instability that this particular move can create. Because why I'm speaking like this based on the fact that I know the leadership of uh, uh, Cameroon. The regime in place is a regime that responds every situation with forces of law and order. Uh, they, they will always send the police or the military to crack down any form of manifestation. And as long as that is what is already known, if people are going out, we already know that there's going to be a crackdown. And if there's going to be a crackdown, some people want to retaliate, some people want to react. And at the end of the day, it might become an insurrection. It might become something beyond our understanding. So I think that there would have been a better way mm. uh, because there is no way I can support that a political leader will call Cameroonians to step out. Okay. Because I know that politicians, uh, Mr. Leo, politicians always know how to use people's children for violent uh, political uh, situations. But when it comes to political gains and political positions, they use their own children and family members. So that's the proof of wickedness that they have from generations. So I will not want to encourage any young Cameroonian to support this kind of move. Okay. Uh, how timely is this move, uh, given the stakes that Cameroon uh, believes now? <clears throat> Mr. Liu, uh, Professor Maurice Kamto has come out, and at a time when a lot of things are ongoing in Cameroon, mm -hmm. there are, like Prof. Mark Anthony said, there is the Anglophone crisis first, there is crisis in the east, there is crisis in the far north, and uh, far from that, there is regional elections whose objective is to change the hands of the clock in the country, Cameroon. And I think to an extent it's very timely because Professor Maurice Camto feels that it is a time that since everybody is looking towards what the CPDM or the regime in place has put as decentralization, if it comes up and sets a very strong agenda, and tells Cameroonians that instead of voting for regional delegates or persons that are going to form the council or what is going to be known as the decentralization committee, that Cameroonians should rather protest and say an end to the Bias regime. So to an extent it's very timely because Professor Maurice Camto is, uh, he believes, like his ideas, like he puts it, because he says he has two main reasons. First of all, the crisis in the Northwest and the Southwest region, and secondly, a revision in the electoral system. So, when you look at it first, the Anglophone crisis is ongoing as of now, which means it is timely, and he feels that the regime should solve the Anglophone crisis first. Secondly, it's timely because he's talking about the reform of the electoral process. But we and I know very well that in, uh, on the 6th of December, as announced by a presidential decree, there is going to be regional elections in Cameroon. So it is timely because we have the Anglophone crisis that is still ongoing. We have regional elections that are coming not long from now. And he feels that instead of going to vote the same persons, because at one time, Mr. Liu, I've given you a very random uh, uh, sample here where I talked about the fact that when you look at what is ongoing now, let us, even if we were to go into regional elections, because the Anglophone crisis is still ongoing, but if we were to go into regional elections, let us be sincere. Look in the Northwest and the Southwest, you will discover that the SDF, the Social Democratic Front, has just one council, and that is uh, Bamenda Three Council. And in the whole of the Southwest, no council. So even if they were to go for regional elections, or if other political parties were to go, at the end of the day, because these elections are supposed to be, have two persons that will vote. We will have municipal councillors and traditional rulers. You don't expect municipal councillors of the CPDM to vote SDF delegates. So at the end of the day, it is like having a total majority of a CPDM delegates, which will still be a continuation 
and the anglophone crisis is still going and i think that mr leo to a very greater extent professor maurice Camto's call is timely timely because we are talking elections timely because the anglophone crisis is still ongoing and there have been calls without and within that the present government should look for a way out of the own anglophone crisis and i think that he is like just reminding he's just adding his voice to the so many different personalities to the so many different non-governmental organizations to the so many different countries that have said the way we should solve the anglophone crisis is not true bullet and he's coming to also add his voice to what the social democratic front and other political parties have said if you go through the communique from the chairman of the CPDM of the Asia political party is clear. He says that the electoral system should be restructured. That is why they are saying do not go in for regional elections because a majority of those who voted, municipal councillors, to an extent, mm -hmm. the conditions under which they were voted were not too serene. And as such, those who voted municipal councillors who are intent to vote the different delegates during the regional elections, they feel that to an extent it wasn't that free and fair and transparent. Mm -hmm. So to me, to a very greater extent, because I'm looking at his two points that he raised. He talked about the Anglophone crisis, and he talked about the how electoral timely, system. How timely is It uh, is timely. Uh, that is what I'm saying. It is very timely. So it's, it's okay. We, okay, how that am I validating no, the I'm idea? Asking, I, I was going to ask a question. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not validating. It's his standpoint. I said it last on another program. Uh, on this same program some time ago, mm -hmm. I am not validating his ideologies. I'm not a militant of that party. The party has its reasons, but when I go through what the party said, it brought two reasons. Because ask me how okay. timely it is. They brought, they brought two, two reasons. Two reasons yeah. the, the, region, the, 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 the electoral court, and we're talking about regional elections, mm -hmm. and the fact of the Anglophone crisis, which I think is very timely. The crisis okay. is still ongoing, and we are going very close to elections. Okay. Uh, the chiefs in FACO uh, division today met uh, to vote their representatives uh, for the House of Chiefs. We have for the, I'm sure this one is elections uh, results, for candidates uh, vying for the position of chiefs in Limbe uh, subdivision. Today uh, we have uh, the contestants were Chief uh, Ekoka, Chief Dr. Ekoka Molindo, uh, who came out uh, with 22 votes, and then we had uh, Chief Otu. Um, Chief Otu had uh, seven votes, and we have Chief Isumbe Nayowe, who had uh, 45 votes. Uh, so, according to the vote of today, uh, Chief uh, His Royal Majesty Isumbe Nayowe, uh, David is supposed to represent uh, the chiefs of uh, Limbe. And uh, for the case of Tiko, uh, we have uh, Chief uh, Ndike Richard Kombe. What 62 66 uh, votes, and then we had two null uh, votes. Uh, he stood uh, seemingly unchallenged because the other uh, chief uh, uh, stood down, assuming that it was his uh, opportunity to go. So he did not stand against uh, Chief uh, uh, DK Richard uh, Kombe on, uh, on, on, on claiming that Chief uh, he is of a higher rank. Uh, so for Limbe, we have a chief who has been designated uh, by their peers, and the same for 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 Tiko. Meanwhile, we have information that in Boya, uh, the chief of great support, Etina Monono, His Royal Majesty Etina Monono, uh, stood unchallenged. Uh, so, these are the three chiefs. If we were to consider these elections, do we hear that administration is asking them to designate a representatives uh, differently? And many persons are asking how best can they choose their representatives without going through the ballot uh, box. But we are going to be following up what is happening in FACO Division to update our televiewers on that. Now, let's uh, come back to our debate on for this evening. Uh, security dispositions have been taken uh, already enough to dissuade uh, those who would want to come out tomorrow. Mr. Liu, it is the Cameroon system, so it is obvious that by now the security should already be in place. Mm -hmm. I think it's over a week today mm -hmm. that the police and the gendarmes have been actually uh, positioned on some uh, 
popular areas in order to be able to dissuade the, the march. They will say uh, there is no amount of military or police or gendarme in Cameroon that can actually stop a revolution, if in case it is. But in relation to this, because I know it is a political party that is calling it, it is going to be difficult, and a lot of persons will be afraid to step out. And that is the purpose of the military out there, to intimidate the people from going out, because that's the style of leadership that we have in Cameroon, intimidation. And you see, when you, when you ask if the military is actually adequate, like I said, there can't be an adequate military that can face its citizens, if in case it is a people's call. But now that it is an individual's call, which is supposed to rally people behind, I am doubting if it is going to provoke the people to come out in their great numbers as uh, the MRC uh, members are expecting. Because uh, I, as an individual, I'm going to be sitting in my house. In fact, I'll be doing my own match in my room, if, that, if that's possible. But I don't know the stand of many. But from what I have experienced, a lot of persons will not step out that tomorrow. A lot of persons will not step out. And it is going to be practically, uh, 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 it's going to be a difficult situation because for those who are going to step out. Are you saying, are you saying that the security dispositions that have been placed already across uh, Bafusam, uh, Bafusam, Duala, and Yaoundi are not also playing a dissuasive factor to some of the persons who may have uh, nursed the idea of coming out tomorrow? That's exactly what I said. That, that's, that, that's the method that the government of Cameroon uses. True actually deploying the police and the gendarmes out it is a means to intimidate the people and dissuade them from coming out mm -hmm. but as i said it is just obvious that some individuals might end up still coming out and we don't know the number of persons that will come out we don't know if the number of persons who are going to come out will overpower the 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 security forces that will be there mm -hmm. because i'm sincere to say the security forces will not if they see that it is a sovereign act where the entire Cameroon comes out, they will not shoot on anybody because it will become practically difficult to shoot on everybody. And so, though it is a method to dissuade people, it is obvious that the MRC members, some of them will still come out. Okay. It's obvious that uh, they, they are going to come out. Uh, we have just been joined by a senior barrister. Ashu Emmanuel, National President of the Reform Party, I'll start by asking him how uh, strategic, how timely is uh, the, the move to call Cameroonians to the streets uh, tomorrow in, uh, with the objective of ousting the National President of the CPDM and the President of the Republic. Good evening and welcome. Good evening, Mr. Leo. Good evening, televiewers. Good evening, co-panelists, Professor. Um, I would say this is really irresponsible of any politician to do this type of thing <laughs> because um, Cameroon is a country that has two, 240 tribes at least and uh, it is not an easy task for four years running now Cameroon has been unable to quench a civil war that is raging in the country and uh, just at a time when we think that the parties should sit on the table and come out with some solution Somebody will get up, uh, somebody who, who, call, who thinks that he's uh, a force to be reckoned will come out to say they should instead scatter the whole edifice. I don't know how he thinks that uh, after scattering the whole edifice, he will be able to hold together 240 tribes. I don't know how, he, by what magic, he thinks that can be possible. And then that is just on the practical part of it. On the legal standpoint, I mean, a political party. It's an association which has as goal to conquer, attain power through legal means, that is, through elections, democratically organized elections. We've never seen any part, in any part of the world, any political party coming <laughs> eh, to uh, uh, attaining power by illegal means, that is, going down to the streets by use of force to oust a government. If you are 
you, if you want to remain a political party, you have to abide by the law. If you don't want to abide by the law, then you are not a political party. So what we are seeing, I say it is irresponsible because a respectable political party will not do that type of thing. You know that you are putting your hand against the law. And when that is the case, please don't blame any person for whatever thing happens to you. Uh, you, you, you can see that Minister Tangaji humorously said, any person who wants to go down to the, to the streets should, be should better arm himself with painkillers, paracetamol, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> medicine to cure his wounds because he cannot beat them and give them treatment. So, you see, I say it is irresponsible because I don't see this as a political move. People say yeah, it is a constitutional right to manifest. Yes, it is a constitutional right to manifest, but that right is it is uh, organized by the law. It's governed by by the law on public um, manifestations, on pu public meetings. You cannot just leave your house, go down to the street, and say you are going to to march because it is a constitutional right. And then you see, when somebody comes and makes a declaration, I am going to send people down to the streets. You think it is a, a constitutional right, but when you listen to the purpose for which he's sending people down to the street, it is it becomes a felony. I'm sending people down to the street to go oust the sitting president. That one is a felony. You are trying to organize a revolution. And this is, this is punishable under the penal code. By all standards, you cannot program a revolution and ask and, and expect the society to sit and watch at you. These are things that are spontaneous. If everybody is fed up with a system, we shall all stand up spontaneously without waiting for somebody to call us. But if you as a political party organize that type of thing, please, you have to give us good reason to believe in your cause. And you can see that Congress of various shades of opinion are coming out to say total nonsense. If you want to go down, go down with your party, with your own family and your children, and your party members will follow you. They will let us see how successful you are before we can join you. In fact, what that groups have come out to say, if CRM goes down, they will be there also to stage counter matches. So it's not going to be a nice atmosphere. That's why I say it's really irresponsible of any person to do this type of thing. Because at a time like this, we think that all hands should be on deck for a solution, a meaningful solution to be found to the crisis that is raging the country for four years going. Okay. Uh, Prince, he says that uh, Cameroon is already uh, faced with uh, very many problems and that the, the, there is no need to engage uh, or expose the, the country to another um, another uh, source of conflict. But is the government right to, uh, to fear for excesses, possible excesses from the match which is described as uh, peaceful. Mr. Liu, the word peaceful is within context, within context in syntax. Syntactically, the word peaceful will not go when the purpose is known. The okay. purpose is simple, is to oust the president. So peaceful doesn't go. You don't oust any person, whether the person is legally or illegally put in a position, you don't house the person peacefully. There's no person who can say, okay, I've been waiting for you, I want to go out. So the word peaceful will not come in place. But when but does, you... that, does that justify uh, the, 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 the fear that we see in the government to want to ensure uh, that this does not happen because of uh, the probability that it gets out of hand? Sure. Mr. Leo, when you look at uh, the different reactions since the president of the CRM political party said he'll be marching on the 22, the Minister of Communication has spoken. The Minister of Territory Administration has spoken. The three governors of the Central Littoral and the West Region have spoken. We have also had the Divisional Officer for Douala II respond. We have also had people like Shah Elizam react. So when you look at the different, different reactions, both within and we have also seen those who are from the civil society. Remember that uh, a group of civil society uh, organizations met under one of them, the Redak, under Marcelin Gomez, mm. and they said it is wrong. We have also seen the association of Bayam Selams in Yaoundé, mm -hmm. who have already given, already called on the State Council for Yaoundé to say 
should anything be destroyed when these people come on the 22 mm -hmm. then we should hold professor maurice come to responsible for it so it goes to tell you that uh, mr leo the government is aware and far from that as a journalist and an investigative one at that mm -hmm. when you move around town you're going to see that all major junctions for instance in douala mm -hmm. are heavily militarized mm -hmm. with extraordinary vehicles that we've not seen for long and when you go, for instance, I was in Boya during the weekend, you discover that there has been an increase in the level of the, the, the checks. And even in Yaoundé, I was discussing with a colleague today who, who works in Yaoundé, a journalist. He says circulation to an extent is not easy because at every given port or every given spot, there is a heavy deployment of uniform officers. It goes to tell you, Mr. Leo, that to me it's not strange. It's not strange because there is no leader. There is no person who will sit in his house and want to come take power. It is very true that Professor Maurice Camto's stance is very clear. We should tell Cameroonians that, that his stance is very clear. He believes that there is somebody who has been in power and the person has been dictatorial. And he feels that this person cannot be taken out of power through the, through the ballot box. And that the only way to take the person out is by coming to the street. It is been normal that what is ongoing, Mr. Leo, because what is news? News as a journalist that I am, news is extraordinary. So to me, what is ongoing, there's nothing, it's not news. It's not news because it's been normal that once he announced that he will come out, we should see uniform officers at all checkpoints. It's no news. But will he come out tomorrow? That's a big million dollar question. And even when he comes out, what will be the repercussion? The different uniform officers that have been stationed at different levels. Is their objective to molest or to malhandle those who are coming out or to take care of them to see their actions because when you go through the community of professor maurice Campo, it's very clear he says that it's a peaceful match mm. but how do you have a peaceful match whose objective it's is to perhaps. remove a president okay. when the president himself too will not give him the opportunity to do that mm. dr aku uh john aku is in the house with us uh, good evening to you uh doctor and your first reaction uh, to the many reactions given to the call by Professor Maurice Cantu for a manifestation to oust uh, President Paul Bia. Meanwhile, I say good evening to you, Ngong Waters uh, Koi, who should be watching us uh, from uh, Boya. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. And again, uh, for once, we're again talking Cameroon, mm -hmm. which has to be very sensitive. In fact, like many have said, that for the first time, Cameroonians are receiving a call on a very strict banner that covers the interests of all Cameroonians, meaning like we have seen already in some banners in and out of this country written that President Paul Bia must go. That is something which took place during the Arab Spring within the Arab world. And today we find it again within the Central African Republic that has been known as one of the highest French dictatorship in Africa with a, a lineage close to over 40 years. And the political opinion in Cameroon and many leaders and actions actors believe very strongly that it is time for President Paul Bia to be taken out of office because this same individual, if I'll give him the opportunity, he may even turn Cameroon into a kingdom. It is 40 years. I mean, within the next uh, 24 months, this particular country will know 40 years of the ruling of President Paul Bia. Several elections have been organized. He was the one in 1990 that gave the rule of what we call freedom of association and political parties, but what extent has such uh, laws play a predominant role in the life of the political history of Cameroon, that has become a myth rather than a reality. And we will tell you that in 1992 the elections were organized. A lot of Cameroonians complained of rigged elections. We see of the 2001 and many other subsequent elections with a lot of machinery on the side of government. But I said it very clearly that the call of Professor Moise Camto and his group just came in at a time when Cameroonians, including the, the, the ruling party himself, believe very strongly that it is not going well. Because you could imagine, some people said, but how can somebody who won the last election, as statistics proven by the state, that was just 14% of that ruling, intimidate a whole nation that was overwhelmingly voted the president with over 74%. It means somewhere the authorities that govern Cameroon knows very well that it has not been right. And if it is not right, what can they get right from this protest? I said and I presented already that Professor Moise Camto and his party have presented a series of 
I mean, needs what they are going to be out for. And we were expecting that for the two weeks, the three weeks, the one month, which they gave to the government at an ultimatum, a lot of those issues or actions by the government were supposed to be leaning not to condemn, but to rectify where they know very well they have gone wrong. I know the country, Cameroon, is always that we talk of a reactive society. They are not proactive because when actions will come, after the strike tomorrow or subsequently, this is when we are going to see action from the government. The operation of what we call uh, against high cost of living. Many Cameroonians were killed, but what embarrasses me was that after that strike in 2008, the government came out with a lot of decrees to reduce the prices of basic commodities. Could we not have handled the agitations of the MRC party and its allies earlier before even the day the 22nd and give a reason to Cameroonians that there was no need to strike? The electoral laws in Cameroon are bad, and everybody is aware that in an electoral system where the one of the actors, one of the actors in the political uh, history, the ruling party, appoints and nominates members to the electoral council, how do we intend to take them out of office? We just saw in an action uh, to put down the institutions named by the 1996 constitution, the head of state created the constitutional council. And we know the composition of the Constitutional Council. We are not going to repeat that here. The head of state named members to the ELECA. You get to look at the members that make up the ELECA. There is a need for a reform, a political, electoral reform in Cameroon. But so that this, every Cameroon... Is this, is, time? is this a time for that? It might not. Nobody define what time is. Time is not available for anybody. Some people say time is not yet due. Mm -hmm. And I asked, what do we mean by due time? Mm -hmm. There is no time due for anything. The political actors, not their game. Remember, some people have been telling us that this man is not at the presidency, is not at the legislative election. But how does he get this impetus, the power to even do or cause vibration of the whole state machinery? Does he claim that they have okay. the highest authority and legitimacy of the okay. state? Uh, good evening to you, Ikomingale, uh, watching us uh, from Boya, and to you, Brian Cipren, Matthias uh, Martial Isulimoto. And the end times, uh, Amadou, Amadou, good evening to you guys, uh, Maryland, and uh, to you, Sam Nico, Josefino Bita, good evening to you, Sungwe Scott, and uh, to you, my big brother, Gay uh, Kizito Nkum, and uh, to you, Eze Tutu Desmond, uh, Yungo Dixon, Daniel uh, Manongo, good evening to all of you watching us across uh, the globe, and uh, to you, Ah, uh, Carlson, watching us from Yaoundé, the big engineer. And um, yes, can we understand, uh, Professor Maka? Uh, is um, will will it not be a bad uh, move to get the entire nation ablaze? Uh, should this manifestation uh, succeed, given that the northwest and southwest regions are, okay. as we speak, on that very difficult, uh, uh, a very difficult atmosphere? From the onset, uh, Mr. Leo, mm. I rightly said, if this call is something that happens simultaneously, which was uh, as a result of the, 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 the bitterness in people's hearts, because as we are talking right now, Cameroonians are actually angry with the regime in place. It's not like uh, we are satisfied with the leadership of the government. We are not satisfied at all. And if it happens that Cameroonians, by virtue of their free will decides to step out and say okay enough is enough then even if the nation is burning we will know that Cambodians have burned their nation but at the present moment since it is a call from the leader of a political party that is where we are saying that there is an issue if Cambodians step out it is because they are angry and Kamto has seen that as uh, 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 an opportunity to take advantage of and actually, he is taking advantage of that particular uh, anger in the hearts of people and manipulating them, I should use that word, because we know that we are in this uh, state of anger. All of us, I'll be sincere, as an individual, I am not happy with the government. In fact, in a, a government that has not been able to give Cameroonians nothing that you can uh, ride home with is a government that nobody should want to be in place. But I think that uh, for the past why, uh, this nation has been 
going through this disguised politics and uh, the, the democracy that we have been going through where there is elections and this same president has been maintaining his, himself in power for as long as he can so i will not want to say uh Kamonia should burn the nation down no mm. because might be some people have not tested the the the, the sound of a gun some people have not tested uh, the the pain that comes with Mm -hmm. seen dead people mm -hmm. in fact they have not gone through war some of us we experience it <laughs> life and saw how people were dying in front of us and so it is something that i would not want to call anybody to do mm -hmm. uh, in relation to my person i will still say this if Camonians are going out because they want to go out it is okay it is a choice to burn their nation by themselves let it not be a call from an individual mm -hmm. that's what i would not want to encourage anybody to do Okay, it's not something you would want to encourage people to, to do. And uh, to you, Nganje Francis, uh, good evening to you. Uh, Chisab, good evening to you. Mbangu Jerome, Ayimbom, uh, and uh, to you, Efia, love, favor. And uh, to all of you guys, uh, we, uh, we are happy to note that you are following the program, especially through uh, social media. But uh, Barista Ashu Emmanuel is come to, by this move, also positioning himself proving that he is uh, the number one opposition leader in Cameroon. Can we deduce from this move that he wants to tell the other opposition parties that I am in charge? Well, that, uh, the answer to that question will be seen tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> when, we, when we see the people who will follow him down the streets, we will know whether he is number one. But like I was saying here some other day, it's not because during the elections he, he pulled a great number of uh, a, a, great, a big crowd that he should think that he's number one. You, you can remember on the 8th, my party organized a regional congress in Garoua with 2,000 2, delegates. One week later, we organized the one in Marwa with 2,500 delegates. So I was not even there. If you imagine that in the absence of national president, that type of delegation could be got. Now, if we have to come down here, what will the story be? So he is not the only person who can pull crowds. So to say that uh, he is number one, uh, that is really doubtful. And anyway, if he were number one, why all the opposition? Why is he getting so many dissenting voices, people from all sorts of areas standing up? By riders, I was on African media. People started saying, uh, started sending SMS that they had invited only people who were against the government. I was surprised. Even those who called by telephone, even those who call by telephone were against. So how? I mean, it is something that the nation does not want. So I don't think uh, it is a nice ploy by him to show that he is number one. No, I don't think that is it. He, he certainly wants to, to stay relevant, but not to show that he is number one, because if, if that were the, the purpose, then he has really failed, because tomorrow, uh, I want to see the bold ones who will come out. Yeah. What, what, what do you actually uh, find wrong in the move by Professor Maurice Cantu. Isn't it his right to say that I want the President of the Republic out? Uh, what is wrong mm -hmm. is that uh, as a political party, you are a party, uh, you are a, a, an association that is authorized to participate in elections legally. Mm -hmm. And you seek the change of government, a change of authorities by legal means. Mm -hmm. Now, what he is doing as a political party that has been authorized to, to, ex uh, to, to, to practice, is that he is using an illegal means he's trying to unseat the president illegally and that is what is wrong because as a political party you cannot seek change otherwise than by the legally provided means which is going through elections but he is using an illegal means a means which is qualified by law as a felony okay. if, they, if they say okay it is their right to match okay yes it is your right to go down to the street and match but there is a law, a law number zero fifty four slash two five uh, five five. Now, what, what would you, what would, which, you, what would, what would you say to others who uh, would say that all applications by political parties to manifest are consistently being uh, banned thank by you. the administration? Thank you. I just said, I just said, my party organized two congresses. None of them, none of them was banned. Mm -hmm. Garwa, Marwa, none of them was banned. So, what tells you that his own would have been banned? No, I don't accept that because I was not even there. Up there in Garwa, they organized the ask the, the some permission, I'll tell it. Mm -hmm. Marwa it was the same thing. So it is not systematic. 
Okay, if you are an administrator and then you hear somebody saying, I want to unseat the president, will you give me permission to unseat the president? No, I mean, when you display bad faith, you display ill intentions. You condition but, but, the minds but, but, of the administrators. But they say, they say it's peaceful. Okay, if it is peaceful, it has to abide by the law. Mm -hmm. Have they respected the provisions laid down in law number 055, uh, 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 90-055, organizing public meetings? Are they sure that they are going to, organize, to, to respect the laws that govern public order? Because you see, this is these are things that people that people don't know. You want to go down to the streets. Mm. Know that if you go down to the streets and it is necessary for the security forces to intervene, if one of them is hurt, if you use violence and one of them is hurt, you are in for life jail. Okay, uh, Prince Joel, you had something to add? Yeah, uh, President, I wanted to actually react to the question you asked, mm. Senior Barrister. Yeah. The issue is, let us be honest, I understand the standpoint you're speaking as somebody who has a political party, mm. and as somebody who has a political party, it would not be but normal for him to applaud another political party. But truth be told that Professor Maurice Camto and the CRM political party has proven within and without that they are forced to reckon with, that we cannot dispute. Because within a very short while we have seen how the tides of Cameroon has changed in all different ramifications different communiques there's just a communique that has been signed by the minister of uh a press, of, briefing. A press yeah, yeah, yeah mm, this oh, evening in yaoundé correct by mm. the minister of communication still mm. in reaction to it so you, you don't see emmanuel sadwis the minister of communication and government spokesperson mm. speaking twice within two weeks it tells you that there is something somewhere. It tells you that there is an individual somewhere who is actually shaking. And if you follow all different uh, media platforms, be it radio, TV, newspaper, or even uh, social media, there is just been one topic. Professor Maurice Camto, the Cameroon government. So it's been normal. We cannot underrate or undermine the influence of the CRM political party and we cannot say that Professor Maurice Camtho is not somebody who's because when you look at the different reactions uh, Mr. Leo it tells you that even the government is aware of the impact that this political party can create and if you even go down the street and you talk with a few individuals it is true that there are those who say they will come out tomorrow it is true that there are those who are still like can we or can we not but let us be honest, there is this great consciousness, this great awareness in Cameroonians who feel that if we want to go through the ballot box to oust the president, given the electoral system and those who are with him, with, uh, around him, it may be impossible or difficult, maybe through the street. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to add the fact that, let us be honest, that Professor Maurice Camto and the CRM political party. Now, when, when you say when you say almost everybody is uh, agitating because of the call of Professor Maurice Camto, are you saying that if uh, Madame Kawala of uh, the CPP or Stand Up for Cameroon were to announce that I want to ask President Paul Bia or, or let's take um, uh, Doctor Ako, Dr. Ako, John Ako, f calling on the civil society that let us go and ask. President Paul, the government will not react. Which government will sit and fold its arm to uh, be ousted easily? Mr. Liu, I want to believe that this is not the first call from mm. an individual. The standard for Cameroon that Madame Kawala is a party mm. has had a slogan no to elections, yes to political transition. Yes. It's a clear mm. message. Mm. Transition means power to change hands. Individually, as a journalist, I've entered interviewed Edith Kabangwala not once, not twice, not twice, mm. and her stance has been very clear. Mm. I asked her a question. Wants... I'm coming. Mm. I asked her a question one day. Mm. I said, Madam Edith Kabangwala, to you, what is the way out of the Anglophone crisis? Her mm. answer was simple. What she told me. The way out of the Anglophone crisis is it's for Paul Bia to leave to power. Leave power. Mm. She had said it long ago. Mm. Why did we not feel that impact? So okay. we should be honest. Okay. Le 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 I'm giving my own analytical part. I feel that we should be honest to say that I'm not applauding what the CRM is doing, but mm. I'm saying that when I look at it as an independent observer, we cannot today, mm. be it in America, in Canada, wherever, we cannot today underrate the influence that the CRM and Professor Maurice Camto has on the regime. Even the regime itself knows that.
Professor Maurice Kanto is a very great headache and a bad tooth that if the tooth is not taken out of from the mouth, that tooth may end up destroying the entire mouth. Okay. Uh, Alex and Gepi, uh, the, 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 the Minister of Communication, think that what you guys are doing is, uh, is unlawful. You people refuse to go for elections, municipal and parliamentary elections. And uh, today, you want Cameroonians to follow you to the streets. Uh, what is the justification? Because many persons will say that when it comes to regional elections, you people have no stakes because you have no elected uh, municipal councillors. Je tiens à rappeler quelque chose. Nous ne sommes pas allés aux élections, euh, effectivement, nous ne sommes pas allés aux élections locales, législatives et, et communales, parce que c'est un choix de notre parti politique de ne pas y aller. C'est normal. Cependant, il faudrait qu'on comprenne quelque chose. Personne sur ce plateau ne peut dire que le Cameroun va bien. Personne ne peut le dire. Personne ne peut dire sur ce plateau que le Cameroun va bien. Le Cameroun va mal. Le Cameroun est malade. Et quand un pays est malade, il faut qu'on apporte des solutions. Il ne faut pas qu'on pense qu'il faut aller aux élections pour enrichir quelques personnes. Ces gens-là qui sont en train d'aller aux élections au Nord-Ouest, ils résident où Combien de conseils vivent au Nord-Ouest Combien Ils vont résider à Douala et, et, et à Yaoundé Ils vont être des conseils régionaux Nord-Ouest Mais ce n'est pas possible. De quoi Qu'est-ce qu'on parle là Quel est le rôle d'un conseiller C'est être en contact direct avec la population. Mais quel est ce pays où rien ne va, rien ne marche, et on veut faire croire que les choses vont bien Mais c'est quel pays Même au moment qu'on arrête et qu'on se remette en cause, c'est en se remettant en cause que le Cameroun peut évoluer, que les Camerounais peuvent comprendre, peuvent prendre en main leur destin. Nous avons dit, et ce n'est pas qu'un seul parti, les partis politiques ont demandé aux Camerounais de ne pas se rendre à cette élection. Et on a averti l'autre gouvernement qui, pour nous, a déjà commis un coup d'État en volant une élection en 2018 qui ne nous appartenait pas. Ils ont également commis un coup d'État en 2020, parce que l'élection de 2020, Monsieur Léo, vous avez couvert, vous savez que moi, là où je me trouve souvent, à Douala 5 e il y a eu des bureaux de vote où sur 500 personnes, on avait 50 votants. C'est ça la réalité. Et oui, ces gens, mais, 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 non, mais, 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 permettez-moi de... Why do you make up their votes Should, 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 should they not be considered because there were 50 of them? Bien sûr. Quand tu y a une élection, il faudrait que ceux qui, soient, qui sont élus puissent avoir l'option populaire. Vous ne pouvez pas être élu avec 10 voix sur, sur, sur 1000 voix. Dans the law, the, does the law limit the number of persons? Parce que la, effectivement, effectivement, vous savez, dans les dictatures, on met des lois qui vont encadrer, qui vont protéger les dictatures. C'est ça le problème des dictatures. C'est-à-dire, on met des lois, qu'on va dire c'est la loi, c'est la dictature. Mais il faut dire que le peuple camerounais, le peuple camerounais souverain mm -hmm. est la première loi. Mais le peuple monsieur, camerounais monsieur, est la première institution. Oui. Donc aucune loi ne peut monsieur, entraver monsieur, le peuple monsieur, monsieur, ses opinions. Monsieur Alex Ngepi, do you understand uh, the conditions under which the people of the Southwest and Northwest are, are live? Don't you fear that the situation may also uh, get to the littoral the center regions? No, have, you, have, you, have, you, have you lived in the Northwest for one week écoutez, at the Southwest? Monsieur, monsieur Leo, mm -hmm. si le Northwest est ainsi, il faut bien qu'il y ait un responsable. C'est à cause de monsieur Diapol. Oui, et c'est à cause des amis de Maître Achou, parce que ce sont ses amis. C'est à cause de Maître Achou, ses amis, que le sud-ouest du nord-ouest est comme ça. Au sud-ouest du nord-ouest, nous avons les bureaux de vote. Nous avons des endroits où il y avait 10 soldats qui ont voté. 10 soldats. Et, et quand vous voulez, vous voulez, donc, vous, voulez donc, vous, voulez, vous voulez donc le littoral et puis ce euh, le pas parce que nous souhaitons. Oui, oui. Ce n'est pas ce que nous souhaitons. Il y a déjà un fait. Oui. Le fait est que les amis de Maître Achou ont mis à 100 oui. le sud-ouest du nord-ouest. You are not answering my question. Non, je. Qu'est-ce ah, qui vous fait croire Qu'est-ce qui vous fait croire que le littoral et ailleurs sera pareil Non, le peuple souverain, oui. le peuple souverain, va demander à plus de monsieur, à monsieur Paul de dégager. Le peuple plus souverain, plus 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 souverain plus. ils vont s'exprimer parce qu'il y a deux façons pour le peuple souverain mm. de choisir leurs dirigeants. Mm. Ils peuvent le choisir. Les deux façons sont démocratiques. Mm. Les deux façons sont constitutionnelles. Mm. Ils peuvent le choisir à travers des élections régulièrement organisées avec des mandats courts, mm. des élections où la volonté du peuple devrait être exprimé mmh. au travers des Monsieur, Monsieur Alex, ils peuvent, également, ils peuvent également le choisir en manifestant, en n'est-ce pas leur rabol mmh. Donc, un slogan populaire. De, 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 un, non, un slogan populaire. Deux positions ici. Deux posi positions. Vous, 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 vous croyez qu'il euh, faut que la population s'exprime euh, par les manifestations le gouvernement, oui, le gouvernement, lui, veut que les, la population s'exprime par les, la voix des urnes. 
vous voulez que les Monsieur, gens font ce que vous voulez et vous, le gouvernement veut que les gens vous me, fassent, oui. vous, vous me laissez m'exprimer, permettez-moi. Vous, vous avez beaucoup parlé. Oui, oui, oui d'accord, d'accord, d'accord. Oui. Ce que je vais vous dire, ce que je vais vous dire, c'est très simple. Oui. C'est que dans une démocratie, il y a trois choses qui dans, dans un État, il y a trois choses pour connaître un État. Il faut un territoire. Je pense c'est neutre, c'est inert. Il faut un autre gouvernement. L'autre gouvernement, ce sont les populations, ce sont les personnes. Et il faut des populations. L'autre gouvernement est inclus dans les populations et représente 0,01%. Mm -hmm. Donc le gouvernement ne peut pas interdire au peuple ou dicter sa volonté au peuple. Mm -hmm. Ici, M. Monsieur, euh, monsieur Léo, il faut qu'on mm -hmm. comprenne. Les militants du MRC ou le peuple M. Léo, M. Oui. Léo, si oui. vous voulez parler dans les militants du MRC, mm -hmm. attendons demain. Ok, ils verront qui sont, qui sont dans la rue. Il faut dire, il faut dire, pour chuter, de chuter. Oui, oui. il faut dire, il faut dire que dans ce pays, il y a des gens qui bout des lois, qui prennent des arrêtés comme le gouverneur, et ils sont les premiers à les violer. Et il faut dire que l'avocat Mme Achoussi le reconnaisse, qu'on a un autre gouvernant... Mais vous les gens disent que votre président était là quand on a fait ces lois aussi, non Non, je dis quand le gouverneur est plein arrêté. Hum? Quand le gouverneur est plein arrêté. Vous savez tout à l'heure, oui. à, à la préfecture de Doha 5 oui, oui. les Bessquines sont revenus là-bas. Vous savez qu'il y a dimanche... À nous du parti. Ils sont venus okay. à okay. okay. Ils sont venus sur quelle loi okay. Maintenant, on, on dit au peuple de ne pas sortir. Okay. Okay. Et quelques okay. personnes Monsieur, Monsieur Alex. vont s'arranger à sortir. Le peuple camerounais est souverain. Mm -hmm. Demain, demain, mm -hmm. nous verrons mm -hmm. si le peuple a sur MRC ou pas. Ceux qui sont contre le MRC sortent, c'est leur droit. Mm -hmm. On ne les empêche pas. Car ils sont un parti libéral, mm -hmm. euh, socio-libéral. Mm -hmm. Et dans ça, nous acceptons la contradiction. Mais okay. ceux-là qui refusent, comme nous expliquons au peuple Alex, camerounais, pour aller sortir, ne devront pas non. nous empêcher de le faire. Le peuple camerounais... Alex, va Alex, 15 minutes pour vous, alone. Ok, oui. Yes. Uh, Alex dit que la opposition, c'est uh, l'opposition qui est appelée pour ce move tomorrow. Do you have the impression that the 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 core of the opposition is behind what is going to happen tomorrow? Frunzi is not behind what is happening tomorrow, whom I know that is uh, for in Cameroon has been the main opposition party mm -hmm. for close to 30 years today. Mm -hmm. Barista issue here is not uh, part of the core, or you are part Barista. Because in relation to my understanding, if it was that it is the opposition party, as uh, mm -hmm. he just claimed, then it would have meant all these opposition parties are together. Mm -hmm. But that is a call of Kamto. He made that declaration because if you want to call it the opposition, it means he would have first of all sat down with all opposition parties, sit down and talk with them mm. before they make now that decision that, okay, let's talk to the people. Mm. But he made his declaration before started getting to meet opposition parties. That is the work of a dictator as an individual. So as long as I'm concerned, that is the call of Kamto. That's not the call of the opposition party. I am neither a supporter of MRC nor that of CPDM nor I'm an a, I'm a political. I don't have a party that I belong to. I'm a Cameroonian citizen who believes that if things are going to uh, uh, be well for Cameroon, then we need to go to the table and sit down and talk. That's the best way I believe. But if we are going to use war to set it, it will not happen like that. I just saw a, 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 a tweet that came to me trying to tell the people Today. for those who are yes those who are going to come out fake. for those who are going to come out to, to okay it's, it's fake, fake. Eh? it's fake uh, so if it is fake then it's, it's fake it's okay but the cause if people are going to come out let there not be in, in, individuals not go out and actually destroy anything it should be a a peaceful match yeah but actually i'm sure that was contained even in the former former secular that uh, was given by by the party yeah. that's that's true mm -hmm. <laughs> you see uh, Mr. Leo, we are living in a nation where it is possible for anything to happen. Mm -hmm. And I know Kamto knows it very well. So my call is simple. Whether it is the opposition party or whosoever that is calling, there's just one thing. Let Cameroonians be the ones to make that decision, mm -hmm. not an individual. Okay, let Cameroonians... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> senior, senior barrister has been quiet for some time yes yeah, senior barista was it wise no 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 how mobilized is the cameroonian uh people for tomorrow we see almost everywhere people are talking are they really mobilized to go out tomorrow because he says that uh Cam cameroonians uh are, are, are for tomorrow eh? i fear i fear clashes tomorrow mm -hmm. frankly speaking i fear clashes because 
there are people who take, who are taking this thing for a joke. But I want to uh, to assure you that if you are, if you look at it objectively, mm -hmm. uh, CPDM I've heard CPDM people say on certain in certain areas that they too are going to call on their militants to come out and counter this the MRC. Mm -hmm. I have seen bike riders come out not once not twice. I think in in Dwala here about three places. Mr. Ngipi just talked about the, those who met in the party houses day. And all of them are coming out, and with the backing of the administration, that is one that is uh, is, is frightful because they are coming out with the backing of the administration. And in that type of context, uh, the worst can happen. The worst not being that the state will be toppled, but we are going. To, we are likely to have casualties. We can have. We are going. We are surely going to have a lot of people who will be injured if people come out. There will be clashes, and no one can master uh, whatever. We, the outcome will be uh, this is not i want to make something clear here it is not a matter of love of uh, uh mr Kamto, love of mr bia love of uh, sdf we are talking cameroon here for those people who don't know what it is we are talking about fatherland <laughs> you must have some love for your fatherland now that love is, is uh, explained by looking at the situation critically is Mr. Kanto go, uh, likely to obtain what he is as telling the people, he's preaching to the people? I will ask you to go down to the street to oust Mr. Bia. Can he oust Mr. Bia by sending people to the streets? You look at it carefully, you see that it is a vehement no. We cannot conclude when the it's a vehement pass. no, sir. It look, is, to an extent, it's not excuse me, no, I say it's a vehement no. You, are, you will come and, direct and tell us here how it is possible. Now, if things come to the worst, Mr. Bia is living in a bunker up there with an anti-nuclear villa under. What, <laughs> what means do you have to enter there to house him? What means do you have? I mean, let us face facts. That is one. Number two, this man is backed up, is backed by a very powerful military, a very powerful gendarmerie, a very powerful police. Some people start finding trouble and saying MRC has bought arms. It's terrible. And I say I fear confrontation because all those type of statements will only lead to police brutality. Because they will say that these people are armed. They will think that the MRC people are armed and there will be brutality and loss of lives. Mr. Kanto cannot ask Mr. Bia. We should face the truth. He cannot ask Mr. Bia through the streets. Are you saying it's that not possible. Are you saying he's bluffing? He is. It's a big bluff. Okay. Okay. Look at what, the other part of it. Uh, if the electoral code is not revised, electoral code cannot be revised by going down to the streets. We are, I mean, all of us here, here, we know very well that there is no amount of neck twisting you can do, Mr. Bia, for him to re revise a code that is favorable to him. He will die and leave that code there. Please, look, I have said this thing. <laughs> so we should let him Whatever. Proceed. Can I talk, sir? Yeah, I have now. said, I have said, they fold her arms, leave him till he gets out. I never knew you to be, I never knew you to be that noisy, sir. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I have all said it here that the solution to the anglophone crisis will bring a general solution to all these things. Okay. Because that solution is going to come from the international scene. Mm -hmm. And when that comes, Cameroon will be given strong institutions with good democratic rules. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. You, 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 want, you, want, you want? Yes, I want to respond a bit uh, to mm -hmm. Barista's. Uh, Actually, yeah. expressed uh, expression of the power of the military and the mm. police in Cameroon. Cameroonians make up the military. Cameroonians make up the police. Cameroonians mm -hmm. pay the gendarmes. Nobody pays gendarmes or whosoever military officer from his private pocket, including the head of state, President Paul Bia. Without Cameroonians, nothing would exist. And I'm telling you that if we believe on the political power, it has failed so many regimes. I don't think the bunker at the Unity Palace in Yaoundé is more than the bunker of Saddam Hussein in in Baghdad, and I have seen a lot of those instances where power is not only authority of the military can fail. There is no strong military in Africa like that we found in Egypt. And I tell you, Osman Mubarak was tracked out for a few months after the presidential election that gave that president over 84 percent of the votes that were casted. That tells you sometimes that those who have been in power should stop manipulating rules of law, changing of constitution for their own personal ends. And there is a need for us to see the willingness and the availability of the provision of basic utilities to the common man. 
the moment these issues or these things are not available, I'm telling you that a country can crumble. No military can stand against its own people. If the whole people of Cameroon march, the Cameroonian military will be conscious enough to know that this is the demand of the people and not that of the military or the police. We are not here to give a state. Cameroon is not a military state. We have never known that. And it is time even for the military to take responsibility. I don't want to say something may happen here that will be right, but be very careful. I have said the response given to the Camto's call may bring the whole nation. Because when I conjunct it with what Professor Weber, in fact, uh, parliamentarian Weber, Joseph Weber, said some time ago that the issues affecting southern Cameroon may bring down the whole nation. And remember, at this very moment, President Moïse Camto equally picked the point that until the Anglophone crisis is settled, be very careful that there is no solidarity between the camp, I don't know, the Cantonian movement and the Anglophone movement. If this spirit has to engulf over, I am sorry that the country may be linked up into a situation that was not admired at the beginning. I simply believe very strongly that the military in Cameroon, the police and the gendarmes are human enough and they will take responsibility of their own. And if we still believe that the government that is placed is illegal and is a state of law, let's respect the institution we have equally governed. When you say when the you military, say, when you say when you say uh, take responsibility, what responsibility is it? Responsibility. The military. I am telling you that the military was trying to defend the external interests of the state against foreign enemies and not to mingle within internal conflict. Military should stay away so that political conflicts find their political solutions and not by arms. But have you seen have, have, have you seen the, mini, the military on the streets uh, tomorrow? No, everybody depends on has a strong military. That is why I'm debunking that point. So when we are talking of a civil uh, match, mm -hmm. we people said there is going to be no harm. The police is the right person to do the work. Mm -hmm. There is no need us calling arms here, having armor cars or whatsoever. We don't need it. Who says, who says the police will not be there tomorrow? No, what I'm saying is stop threatening and frightening Cameroonians as if marching is equivalent to killing mm -hmm. or terror. There is no terror in a civil march pass. It has happened in many regimes. We are not just a civilian. It means that for 40 years, Cameroonians have been hijacked and embedded into a trunk that they cannot come out. And any time they agitate like a bee within a hive, they are simply tied up or closed up with the same fear that the military is well trained and capable enough to amass everything. If the people rise, I said there is no power in the world that has ever stopped that. Okay. It, Arab in the, it happens in the northern part of Africa, and if we are not careful, we may settle in Central Africa with this, in fact, Machiavelli said absolute power corrupts absolutely. When you stay too much in power, these are the consequences that fall out of such a system. We need to be very vigilant. The response tomorrow might change the whole states that we never admired it to happen. Thank you very much. Okay, um, the response tomorrow. Um, <laughs> let me take some messages. The messages are so, 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 so many. I hear someone in the studio saying Cameroon is already going through many hardships. The high unemployment, the wars in many regions, uh, low salaries of workers is uh, the handwork of uh, the weak and wicked. Okay, every Cameroonian who aspires to see anything new in this country should step out of their comfort uh, zones. Um, you did not sign the message. Uh, greetings, Mr. Liu. Kamto should go on with the move. It's correct. Uh, the mayor of Ndop once said there must be destruction in the coming of development, and our house was destroyed. So to change this country, someone may die. Okay, uh, Chika Gotson is writing from uh, Bamenda. Uh, this one says, read my message. You see, uh, Barista Kamto is the change we need. If you are there for your selfish interest, and no, others are out uh, for the interests of others. Why is the state against the match? Please, if you had 71% uh, of the vote, uh, that means 71% of the population is with you. Then why being afraid of Kamto? I'm writing from Bambili. My name can't be sent for security. Uh, if I if I knew that you would, you would write this and I would not read your message, please. I would not have. Yes, I will not read it. You can't tell me. Uh, good evening to you all in the studio, Mr. Liu. Or which international body this is gentleman talking about? We have been fighting for close to four years now, and they have been talking. Where is the international body? I think Mr. Kanto has grabbed the government by his neck, and they are frightened. It is from this movement that uh, we will know what the Cameroon government will do. Drummond is writing from uh, Boya. Uh, good evening to those at uh, the panel. It's very interesting program. Thanks very much, uh, Prince Joel. Uh, this. 
you many of you are not writing your names so i will not read the messages okay um what is the force of the allied uh, of those allied uh, to the to professor maurice come to uh, prince Joel? because we saw the final communique that was issued uh, two days ago we know that um the parties involved we have the pap we have um CPP. modekna and then uh, CPP. no they, uh, they did not sign uh, madame kawala said on this platform that for now they want uh, to to, to uh, professor Morris <coughs> to convince them and give them uh, more 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 reasons why they are getting into that and she said they have not endorsed the move but we have modek now we have the cp no we have modek now uh pap Pap. and then uh yes that's pap as for usdp usdp did not also sign and we had a handful of uh civil society organizations what is that force to your reader Uh, uh, mr liu i want to first of all congratulate you for a good job you're doing because even yesterday you had the communication secretary for the Social, Social Democratic Front, mm-hmm. Dennis Ken Lemo, who made the stance of the SDF yeah, yeah. very clear, mm-hmm. and you've had CPP who stands who are not. But now, when you look at those who are backing the the move mm-hmm. of Professor Maurice Campbell, mm-hmm. if you ask somebody who lives in Marwa, if he has ever heard the word Mokdegna, I doubt if the person knows that name. <laughs> if you ask somebody who lives in Misaje, if the person has heard the name PAP, I doubt if the person knows the name. So when you look at the political parties, it is true no political party is small, but when you look at the political parties that are backing the, the, the idea of Professor Maurice Camto, it's very true that a majority of these political parties are either regional mm-hmm. or divisional, and at times to an extent subdivisional. Some of these parties are known within villages. But notwithstanding, the issue is not those who are behind. Mm-hmm. I, I want to say that, uh, Mr. Liu, truth be told, is the fact that the CRM has struggled to write its name in the history of the country. Mm-hmm. The CRM is struggling to bring back what <coughs> the Social Democratic Front did in the 1990s. It has been long that the political scene in Cameroon has been animated. Today in Cameroon, we feel that in almost every leap, Mr. Liu, let us be honest. Today, in every house, in every club, in every bar, the topic is what will tomorrow look like in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. Just that aspect tells you that Professor Maurice Camto has struggled to go to write his name in the the history of the country Cameroon. But when I look at those who are backing him, I want to feel that the majority of those who are behind him I'm saying it authoritatively. I'm not looking at the individuals. I don't want to look at the personalities. But when you look at the political parties, like you cited Modekna, like you cited the PAP, uh, there are political parties that, to an extent, very few Cameroonians know about the political parties. And I want to feel that a majority of them are doing what I'll call a, pol- public, a, a political stone. A majority want to use it to, 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 to write their names so that they should know them. Because when you talk to the CPP president, Madame Edith Kabangwala, who also had uh, always part of the main person so far as the stand up Cameroon is concerned. When you listen, when I listen to her talk on your platform, it was like we have not reached any negotiation with Maurice Camden. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. And as a journalist, I'm looking at what she said and all what the people are saying. Mm-hmm. And she says, we have not reached any conclusion or come through. And that if this is what come through is saying, then we are not okay. It starts giving you the impression that to an extent, what many people are thinking is not what actually is in the field. Mm-hmm. That is CPP, which to me is a political party that is strong. And look also, also at the Social Democratic Front. The, the, the stance of the chairman is very clear. The chairman says, come to wrote me a letter calling me to do this, but I will not. And, yes, and even the National Communication Secretary that you had him on your program here yesterday, he made the stand, and I believe that when Denise Kenglemo speaks, he's not speaking as Denise Kenglemo, he is speaking as SDF. So, to an extent, it, it just goes to tell you that Kamto has brought up an idea. Let us be honest. In most regimes there are two ways most presidents who have come to power either they are voted or it is the military that brings that is the people that bring the president to power but i think that 
when this thing started, Mr. Leo, you had me on this platform, and I said something. I said, the 22, which is tomorrow as a journalist, first of all, is interesting to me because it's going to be newsworthy. Secondly, it's going to enter history, and I'm very happy because my children, or those who are going to meet me 15 years from now, are going to ask me, Prince, what happened on the 22 of September 2020? I will not be saying what I read in history books. I'll be telling them what I saw. To me, that's the way I'm looking at it. Because I did not leave the 6th of April 19, 84, when it was a, an attempted coup d'etat in Cameroon. But history books are very clear. History books tell me that there was a coup d'etat and that there was somebody who wanted to take part and history books side with those who took part in the coup d'etat even though it failed. Tanto is bringing up something tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If he succeeds, fine. But let us see him. He's going to enter history. That's why I want to say, Mr. Leo, that we should not underrate. That's what I'm saying. We should not underrate first the CRM because we should be honest to say that from 2018 that the CRM went for elections. It is true that according to the elections Cameroon Elecam, mm -hmm. Professor Maurice Campo had 14. Now, but when you look at somebody who had 14, just like Honorable Joseph Weaver said some time ago, mm -hmm. that two cubes of sugar in a basin of water, okay. but you have two cubes of sugar that are causing a headache Okay, in good, evening. Of water. good evening to you, Godi uh, New Kongi, and, uh, and to you, Atem Collins, and uh, to you, uh, Taita um, Roland Bakala CFA, and uh, Pakus Wunempek, and uh, Atem Collins. Good evening to all of you watching us. Now, um, a militant of the CRM declared this morning, reiterating what he has been saying, that uh, a revolution is never announced, that uh, we don't put a date uh, for that, and that when it will be time the people will come out on their own yes it is true a revolution is never announced mm. it just happens but something provokes revolutions mm -hmm. which uh, to an extent already Cameroonians are provoked to that state mm -hmm. uh, it just it, it just needs something small to mm -hmm. push Cameroonians to the brink and we don't know whether the situation tomorrow is going to be that and that is where I have a, a serious uh, issue with. Because if it is going to happen the way it happened in other nations, for example, let's quote uh, Egypt, let's use uh, Algeria, we, it might take a long period of time. And the truth is that the suffering that Cameroonians are already suffering is something that I will not want to entertain. Uh, just imagine you go to the market now to buy common tomato. One tomato is sold for 100 francs. That is as a result of the crisis already in the Northwest and the Southwest. Then, coupled with what is going to happen, then it means Cameroon will be on the ground, burning. And I don't think Bia is one of those uh, guys who will easily give up because he will preferably die on that seat than give it up. And it is possible that anything can happen because we are not removing the options. It happened in other nations. It's possible to happen in Cameroon. But like I would say, that is not the path so far that as an individual I want to encourage because it is going to bring untold suffering to Cameroonians. For the, it doesn't matter whether it is one month, two months, three months, or how long. There's going to be suffering that some Cameroonians will not actually wish that it happened. Those are some of the things that, as an individual, Mr. Liu, I'm looking at. And I am feeling like uh, we are entering to something that is not going to be... Uh, the Kamto is calling, it might not be able to manage it. Okay. You may, may not be able to manage it. Uh, yes. Oui. Uh, Alex I'm and Gepi, uh, on this one, uh, war is easy to start, but very difficult uh, to end. Um, Est-ce que vous allez prendre, vous allez accepter la responsabilité de ce qui euh, va se passer après ce, cela si um, ça dérape uh, à la violence euh, qu'il y a mort d'homme euh, Je vais vous expliquer. Mm -hmm. Nous avons signé avec les partenaires, avec la société civile et d'autres partis politiques, une charte. Comment manifester Nous avons signé une charte du comportement des citoyens. Et je suis là pour le rappeler. Nous avons dit 
au peuple camerounais, aux citoyens camerounais, quand vous allez manifester, vous devez avoir vos masques anti barrés contre le Covid-19 de 1. Vous devez avoir euh, euh, du citron en liquide ou bien que, du citron en liquide, du vinaigre avec des mouchoirs pour vous protéger contre les gaz lacrymogènes si ça dérape. Vous devez, permettez-moi, vous devez, vous ne devez pas casser. Et si une personne casse un bien public ou privé, vous l'arrêtez et vous le remettez à la disposition des forces de l'ordre. C'est la charte que ceux qui vont manifester pour le peuple camerounais ont décidé de signer. Et c'est important de le rappeler. Maintenant, j'ai suivi ami, les amis, euh, j'ai suivi M. Achou, défendre ses amis. Non, non, non. Non, 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 You say that they should not do this, they should not do that. What if they don't respect Monsieur what Leo, you are Monsieur saying Leo. and engage in uh, attacks on, on human beings and the destruction of uh, property? What happens? Because you are talking as if human beings are robots. That is, you, 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 you fix them that this is how. What if it goes out of hand? Monsieur Leo, I want to respond and you understand que les amis de mettre à à bord. Non, 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 non. Laissez-moi la le... suite de vos questions. Laissez-moi. Laissez-moi répondre. Allez, les allez, amis de mettre à à bord, oui. ici, pour ce plateau, oui. nous savons qu'ils veulent infiltrer ces manifestations. Nous sommes conscients, nous sommes conscients que ces amis veulent entrer, faire la casse et amener qu'il y ait des débordements. Nous sommes conscients, c'est pour répondre à votre question. Nous sommes conscients que ces amis, qui sont des antipatriotes, qui ne sont pas pour la révolution camerounaise, qui veulent que l'ordre euh, qui fait souffler camerounais reste le pouvoir, nous sommes conscients qu'ils vont vouloir faire des casses, qu'ils vont vouloir provoquer les forces de l'ordre, nous sommes conscients qu'ils vont être infiltrés dans, parmi les manifestants et parmi les forces de l'ordre, mais nous avons demandé à, aux personnes, aux camerounais, aux responsables, aux citoyens, aux patriotes camerounais de rester sur ce que L'ensemble des personnes qui vont, qui ont signé ces chats, ont prescrit. C'est dire quoi, Monsieur Léo C'est dire quoi Nous savons que si demain, et nous sommes certains, quand le peuple camerounais va sortir dans les rues, nous sommes sûrs, et derrière même, dans les informations, ni l'armée, d'abord un, l'armée n'est pas concernée, l'armée se retrouve dans les casernes, ok Ni l'armée, ni le FMO, j'en ai mérité ne pourront tirer sur un seul Camerounais. Donc, tant que... Si, 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 la déjà, si, déjà, si, 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 c'est un droit, c'est un droit. Non, 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 le renseignement camerounais, ce sont des voleurs, ce sont des bandits. Non, 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 mais vous, vous empêchez-moi que je réponde, l'esprit, vous m'empêchez de m'étouffer. Parce que quand je pose des questions, vous répondez Mais à autre chose. Vous m'étouffez, vous m'étouffez. Je vais vous dire quoi. Vous On a fait croire aux Camerounais oui. que les renseignements généraux, que le comité ne peut plus renseigner. Le renseignement, c'est pas si ça, c'est sur la torture, c'est le coup téléphonique, et de filer quelques personnes. Quand vous avez fait un pays comme l'Égypte, qui, qui est frontalier avec l'Israël, et que vous voyez que dans une buvette, que sur 10 personnes, il y a 3 services de renseignement généraux. Et que ces gars ont mené une révolution pour faire partie de Moubarak, qui est un service militaire. Mm. Je peux vous rassurer que le peuple camerounais, que le peuple camerounais souverain, le roi, s'il se lève demain 
Je dans ce, ce régime-là euh, va devoir rendre compte. C'est ça qui est question. Nous euh, manifestons pour demander euh, au euh, régime euh, 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 du RDP euh, 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 de rendre Alex, compte. Alex, 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 Alex puis avant, avant que vous ne rejoigniez à cette, euh, cette débat aujourd'hui, je crois qu'on on, s'est parlé. Bien sûr. Oui, mais je ne sais pas comment vous, vous êtes là et puis vous, 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 vous appelez les gens des bandits. Ce n'est pas décent quand même. Euh, monsieur, non, le, pas non, 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 monsieur, non, 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 le Cameroun a été un peu plus corrompu. Oui, le pas de banditisme. Oui, mais non, mais non, le, non. il faut le dire. Mais après une suite, le Cameroun a été un peu plus corrompu. Lorsque M. Léo, il a été organisé et qu'on détruit 3 euh, milliards de francs d'histoire. Excusez-moi, quelle expression pour caractériser cela c'était euh, plus corrompu avec votre président comme... Peu importe, mais oui. quel est le chef d'État Please, please, I just... Quel est la réponse My, 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 my issue is that let us put forward our ideologies and not insult the person. D'accord, yes. d'accord, so d'accord. On va, on va aller, on va aller comme ça. On va aller comme ça. There's no need according... D'accord, on va, on va aller comme ça, monsieur Léo. Oui. Oui. On va aller comme ça. Oui. Je vais dire aux Camerounais, aux Camerounais, souverain. N'ayez pas peur de sortir. Parce qu'il s'avère que les gens non, les please, gens sont please, là. Please. Non, 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 You understand that almost everybody on this platform is not very comfortable with the way you are going. We are discussing. I ask you a question. Will you take responsibility of whatever may come tomorrow? You are not answering. You are talking about this and that and that and that, please. That is not part of the questions I ask you, please. I believe uh, uh, yeah. if Ngepi, Ngepi has a problem with the response, And I don't know whether it's the language or the English that is something yeah, that's difficult. Really. I think very strongly mm -hmm. that if there is a need for some security guarantee, it is the reason why in many advanced democracies the police is present. Okay. And that those who go against the rule of a civil strike or a civil demonstration should be brought to justice. Okay. And that if the police, even after that, like you saw we happened with the gilet jaune, that security can equally quote individuals. And even after the act, you are even arrested in your house. If you are, are police as it is, well trained, yes, on that aspect of the police force, I believe Cameroon has one of the best police force, highly recommended by the United Nations in solving conflict. They can come out in the same mode to identify in, I mean, people used to say they have to anchor it. As people move along, you have to look and identify the victims or those who go against. Remember in the George Floyd case, in the United case, uh, State, some people were not there even to strike for George Floyd. Others went ahead looting shops. Mm -hmm. And the moment you leave where the people are marching and moving, and instead of breaking down shop, security pick you over. And that is simple. There is no need. We, we are going out for a civil strike. We are not going there to steal or to destroy. It is civil. It's a civil right. You have the right to march, but not the right to destroy. destroy. The moment you leave the right to march, and you start destroying, you are committing a different crime. That might be theft, it might be aggravated or whatsoever, and the law will follow its course. If you, it is, the, the penalty or the punishment is 10 years or 20 years, you bear the consequences. Mm -hmm. So take the responsibility of going out, but know that where your rights ends is the beginning of another person's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, but how do we determine the duration of such a manifestation? Because it is, the objective is to ask the President of the Republic, to, it starts tomorrow, to when? Yeah, I, I, you know, we like political analysts, I don't take it into the light mm -hmm. of what generally other Cameroonians are taking it. Mm -hmm. I remember very strongly that the civilian party took it over as Bia Moscow. But I remember that the MRC party made a series of points. Mm -hmm. The talk of the Anglophone crisis, they talk of the revising the electoral laws. Mm -hmm. Why are we taking Bia Moscow as a long point within? Which means somewhere, if we end up having a better uh, electoral laws mm -hmm. at the end, if we end and we organize a new candle call for a sincere, inclusive dialogue to solve the problem in the Anglophone region, if we have a second dialogue now, it will mean even after tomorrow, without the head of state going on, I mean the MRC party may go home and make, there will be an evaluation meeting, maybe on Wednesday, I was seen on some social media okay. to see what they have achieved are you and what they that, haven't okay. achieved. Okay. Are you saying that the manifestation is only for tomorrow? That is what I'm saying, that we should not overthink of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow might not take the objective which you both put in front, okay. like President Pierre Moscow, but it might acquire other uh, 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 gains, like maybe creating a conscious Cameroonian and changing the laws. The parliament is sitting very soon. We might see a lot of those bills pass on parliament, and MIC will tell you, Remember Nijon Fundi and the SDF party has celebrated in Cameroon that they are the bedrock of electoral laws in Cameroon mm. since 1990. Mm. So why not MRC2 said after them they had a better code to organize elections? Okay, uh, Senior uh, Vice Ashu, I was talking about uh, the, the need to understand who takes our responsibilities. It is true. 
uh, Alex Ngipi says that uh, they are very sure that uh, some militants of the CPDM may infiltrate, uh, he calls them your friends, uh, may infiltrate um, the, the move uh, to puncture the peaceful nature of it. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Doctor, don't laugh, oh, please. I thought you were with me already. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's with you. I'm saying that it's not an Islamic. Yeah, thank you. No, yeah. Doctor has the right to laugh because <laughs> thing, it looks very, very funny, you know. Um, you see, it's, it looks really funny. I think Doctor will continue laughing because uh, when somebody gets up in, in, from his house and comes to tell the world that Reform Party that has not been seen in any place with any CPDM person is a friend of CPDM. Whereas the man talking, his his boss's wife was the closest collaborator of Mr. Bia, Bia's she wife. Did. Was. I think she has taken her retirement. She was the closest collaborator of Mr. Bia's wife. She was top ranking uh, a civil servant in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And you don't see that as a problem. And uh, the CPDM government, where your boss officiated as a minister, your yeah, boss received a big package, a package of about 12 billion to write to draft penal code. He ate, he whined and dined with the CPDM. And you don't see him as a friend. You can't see Reform Party that has never been seen anywhere with CPDM. You see, by the Sashu's friends. People are holding meetings and calling on bike riders, market women. Have you seen Reform Party anywhere holding any meeting with CPDM people or with bike riders and all those sort of things? Please control your mouth. Uh, you see, anyway, it shows us, I said this thing before, it is all irresponsibility. You can see it. You can see. No, it is irresponsibility. You know, you, who I'm takes... Also ask, you're also answering my no, question. No, who takes responsibility? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the Minister of Territorial Administration, uh, in application of the Law on Public Order, Article 2, issued an order saying that all manifestations, all public manifestations are banned in the three regions of West, Littoral, and Center. Maybe people, people just listen to us and think it is folklore. It is just for, for play. He, he was applying the law of public order. Which law? Your law? 90 slash 054 of December. Dictature law? 19 December uh, 1990. Uh, you have asked for the law. I'm giving you. You don't want to do it. Okay. The law on public order. Uh, Different from the poor on public manifestation. On public meetings. <laughs> now, the minister has ordered that no public manifestation. Again. The SDF for, Ma for Mesam has done the same. And okay. And People have, have come out to tell us now that no, it is a peaceful match. Let us come now to the law governing public meetings. Okay. That law says seven days before the projected meeting you have to make a declaration which is subject to an authorization when you were talking about to the did, did, did i stop you? Did I, did I, I, I don't know what is wrong with this look at the people who want to go from the road you are fully people to go down to the street look at the way you want to go oh my god look at that but do you that's the way you want to look at Cameroon. But what do you want to Tout à l'heure, as préfecture de la 5e, il y avait des bêtes qui ont fait dans la ville. On s'est déclaré qu'il y a une interdiction. You see? Non, c'est ça vérité. Dites-moi. Okay, thank you. Vous parlez de déclaration que ça vous arrange? So, uh, I was saying that the minister has, has banned public meetings. The governors have also done the same. No declaration of, for any, any meeting has been filed anywhere. None. Yeah, okay. Abolando, okay. l'homme yeah. du parti, ils ont déclaré à qui cette législation. Même au moment, dites aussi à votre peuple camerounais, hier à Bolanjo, il y a une réunion avec Beskine. Ça a été déclaré à qui C'est quelle loi, M. Euh, Achou Parlons de la loi. C'est quelle loi qui autorise que. Il y a un dimanche, un jour non bon. ouvrable, qu'il y ait des gens qui fassent une réunion avec Bolanjo. Puisqu'on parle de loi, cette loi-là a été déclarée, déclarée à qui Pourquoi la cuisine vous passez, Jean Après, il ne faut pas vous Pourquoi Okay, uh, I, will Alex, Alex, I will go ahead. I will go ahead, despite the rowdy nature of these people who want to govern Cameroon. 
uh, and it's really madness for some people to think that I should be jealous of this type of people. Please. Rowdy. Uh, uh, and uh, 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 senior barrister, please. The, the essence is to educate Cameroonians. Can you just but when I want to do so, they stop me. Are you yeah. watch? You watch when you I mean, yeah, stop because me. I'm taking I'm, a, I'm taking aback sincerely. That's, that's why Mr. Liu had said something. Now I'm not cutting you that you know I understand the posture of senior barrister, he's a politician and that's a political party. Yeah. And Alison Gepi to has a political party. But, yeah, but I think that's that they, to each other. I think that a million of Cameroonians do not want to know your personal differences. No, I don't have any personal differences with you. You talk about CRM, he talks about no, 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 please, please. He no, was explaining the law. He was, he was explaining and the law. And I was law. explaining the law. Which law was explained? No, no, no. Look at that. Look at that. I watch you guys shout for me. Please, talk. When you talk here, you cite the law. I am citing laws and you don't want people to listen. Il ne parle pas d'un oh, oh, il parle oh, politique. Et il est là pour défendre le RDPC, son oh, logique. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. People who have dined with CPDM are um, accusing Reform Party of being sûrement, CPDM. C'est sûrement, um, M. Alex. I have never taken what one, one did from any man. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, uh, uh, Senior Barista, Senior Barista, M. Alex, quand vous parlez, ce n'est que moi qui vous posez la question. Personne d'autre. Uh, quand, quand je vais vous interpeller, vous allez parler. S'il vous plaît. Just learn, uh, uh, you see, it's, it's really appalling that, I mean, people who hold midnight uh, mass with others come to come and pretend in public and accuse other people unjustly. <laughs> Reform party has never been seen anywhere. If you know of a political party that has no koro koro, it's Reform party. You, well, I, I don't, I wouldn't say a kukoya, but I'm saying that. Who is responsible? I started by giving you the behavior of the minister of justice administration he has given an order the governors have so, so followed suit still in application of law and i've told you that no declaration for any public meeting has been filed anywhere so any person who is going down to the streets pursuant to the declared intention of professor maurice Camto to oust president bia through public manifestation is a criminal the only person going down the street is a criminal. The person who asks others to go down to the street is a criminal. They can all be arrested and prosecuted for being down in the street because Article 3, uh, 223, uh, 231 of the Penal Code on public meetings prosecutes any person and punishes that person with imprisonment of up to six months. If you participate in any illegal meeting, by illegal meeting, it is it is clearly defined as a meeting that has not been authorized. A meeting for which no authorization has been granted. Number two, Article 15, uh, round down 15 of the Penal Code, talks of revolution. Any person who declares openly that wants to topple the government, revolution, life jail. Article 116, insurrection. It's the same thing. Why you say we are going to go and remove president? That one too again, live uh, 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 10 to 20 years. <laughs> so who takes responsibility? Cameroonians. Oh my God. My God. My God. No, no, no. Uh, Cameroonians, let nobody fool you. Ashu is not afraid. But it's Ashu is not afraid of anything. I am telling you the plain truth. You are going down to the streets okay. at your okay. own risk. See because that, who that, takes us? You who is going down to the street, you are bearing the risk <laughs> of going down to the street. Kanto, Kanto is not taking the risk. Of, it is you. See the the is for you. See it's not for Kanto. See the minister, you made your point. No, uh, uh, um, um, please, please, uh, Joel, you you are itchy to come. No, no, no let no, let no, please no, let no, please no, come no, in. No, yes, uh, please, come in, please. Yeah, the the the, the first thing I want to say is that. Senior barrister Ashu is a legal mind, and I understand the standpoint from where he's coming from. But we should not also be ignorant that the person who is calling on Cameroonians to come to the street is also of his department. Mm. He's also of the legal bench and mm. knows to the law. I don't want to say more than him. Mm. And if he's calling on what he's calling, it means he knows the repercussions. No, he's a teacher. He's, he's not a lawyer. You say he's not a lawyer. He's not a lawyer in the Cameroon bar, so you have to prove he's a lawyer somewhere. I'm, I'm, okay, Thank that's you. what you're saying. He's not a lawyer. Sorry. Just go on. Yes, I was saying that the person who is calling on Cameroonians to come on to me is just today saying that he's not a lawyer. I did not know. I know him as a lawyer, but I feel that he is coming up and he knows the repercussions. Mm -hmm. Because what, what we are saying here today is, Mr. Liu, as an individual, you know that backstage, I will not say what I'm telling Cameroonians here, but I know that backstage I've told you my standpoint on what will go on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But 
each and every Cameroonian has his or her destiny in her hands. Mm -hmm. And Cameroonians know what is good for them. It means that tomorrow Cameroonians wear South East are to either to decide whether to join or not to join. And I think that we should not use your platform, this one, like Mr. Alex Ngepi was doing, to call on Cameroonians to move, or, like Senior Barista is saying, to call on Cameroonians not to move. No. I believe that Cameroonians are very mature. Cameroonians are very intelligent. Cameroonians are very civilized. And Cameroonians, to an extent, know what is good or bad for them. And tomorrow is in very few hours. And Cameroonians know what to do because either they come out or they don't come out. I just feel that it is not within our past to shape the destinies of Cameroonians because it would be wrong that somebody quotes my media prime or prime R mm -hmm. that your program was used to tell Cameroonians, that's what we should say, yeah. that they should go to the street or they should not go to the street. I think it's very, very important. Okay. Uh, we, Alex uh, Ngepi, um, no, no. No, let, let him come, s'il vous plaît. Vous répondez à la question, hein. pas, pas la taxe sur les gens. Si tu, si tu veux. How does come to and the CRM grow uh, to benefit after this call? Uh, what, what if people don't turn out tomorrow? Will your party grow taller or smaller? Si après demain, les gens ne sortent pas, quel, quel sera uh, l'impact sur votre parti? Monsieur uh, Meyo, je... Je dois, je, dois, je dois avoir un droit de réponse. Je dois avoir un droit de réponse. Parce que, comme il a si bien... Permettez-moi, 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 s'il vous plaît. Permettez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Permettez-moi. Parce que maître H. ici, le fait que de manière à l'argent, pas sortir. Il faut qu'il sort. Donc, vous, non, ça me donne un droit. Je dois faire un droit de réponse. Je vais dire aux Camerounais, nous ne doutons pas un seul instant que les gens ne sortiront pas. Ce n'est pas un message. Les gens vont sortir. Dans votre question, il n'a même pas le dire d'être. Les gens de demain vont sortir et nous sommes certains. Il veut dire donc quelque chose qu'il a dit tout à l'heure. Maître Achou est en train de défendre clairement à cause du RDPC de ce qui veut passer. Son droit. Et nous le reconnaissons. Absolument. Parce que nous sommes, nous sommes, c'est son droit le plus absolu qu'il défende cette position. Mais qu'il accepte aussi qu'on défende cette position. De sortir, c'est aussi notre droit. Non, mais, mais, non, mais, non, 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 vous l'avez laissé. Non, 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 vous n'allez pas utiliser mon. La chaîne, c'est. Non, 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 vous, je, on on s'est bien parlé. Vous êtes ici pour parler des. On, on, on parle. Monsieur Léo, non, 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 You are watching Prime uh, on my media program. <laughs> Please understand. understand. <laughs> Mr. Alex, Mr. Alex, uh, tomorrow, what if Cameroonians don't come out as you are calling? Um, you also bear the consequences. Eh? 
It's your party going down. Or to say that, okay, Camerounians have shown that they don't love us. Euh, non, vous savez, euh, il est clair que nous avons joué quelque chose, nous avons demandé quand de sortir, et il peut arriver qu'ils ne sortent pas. Il peut arriver. Mais soyez sûr, soyez rassurés que nous avons plutôt à disposition. Le peuple camerounais va décider de, de son destin dès demain, de sortir ou pas, c'est le choix du peuple camerounais. Cependant, je voudrais juste aussi rappeler que euh, la manifestation, la manifestation, c'est quelque chose qu'on ne viole pas, on ne viole qu'une loi manifestant. Aucun parti ne viole la loi manifestant, car c'est bien inscrit dans le préambule de la constitution camerounaise. Que, euh, et, et, et dans ce préambule, c'est un droit garanti par la constitution, avec euh, notamment la charte des, des Nations Unies, qui se trouve dans, cette, euh, dans ce préambule, qui donne une garantie au-delà des lois internes du pays, qui demande qu'en démocratie, toutes les opinions doivent être exprimées de manière libre, et si un parti politique demande aux gens de s'exprimer par une manifestation, c'est leur droit démocratique. Donc, nous restons dans cette position-là et nous attendons donc de voir la réaction demain du peuple camerounais et de dire que euh, le professeur Boris Kamto est un avocat, c'est un professeur de droit, c'est le professeur des professeurs, des professeurs de ceux qui ont enseigné maître à chou, c'est la vérité. Donc, le professeur Kamto... Le professeur, quand il a pris cette disposition-là, c'est très bien qu'il ne viole aucune disposition légale. Il ne viole aucune disposition légale. Si jamais il y a, eu, il y a violation de disposition légale, il y a les tribunaux pour cela. Donc, qu'une personne vienne dire que c'est illégal, ce n'est pas de leur ressort. Même l'administration, même l'administration ne peut pas dire que c'est illégal. Ce sera à un juge de dire qu'il y a eu infraction. Pour l'instant. Aucun juge ne s'est encore prononcé. Donc on ne peut pas parler d'illégalité. L'administration devrait aussi intimider les gens et la société civile de ne pas faire ceci ou faire cela. Ce n'est pas leur rôle. L'administration est neutre. C'est une affaire politique. La société civile, l'administration devrait regarder. Et si l'administration estime après qu'il y a eu des violations, alors ils devront saisir les juges administratifs, notamment la Chambre administrative de la Cour suprême. C'est cela seul qui devront dire en dernier ressort, qui a eu version de loi. Et euh, donc, euh, mon compagnon, mon, mon voisin, M. Achou, qui pense que la loi a été violée, ce n'est qu'une position qu'il défend. Et il faudrait dire, et je veux rappeler que la MRC est un parti de plusieurs avocats, conformément à son parti qui devait être un seul avocat et c'est militant. Le MRC est un parti de plusieurs avocats, et ces avocats-là savent très bien et ils beaucoup tout. Et si une disposition est violée, ils vont se défendre. Donc, no, can't donc, for you, uh, donc si les said. Camerounais doivent être restés tranquilles. Mm -hmm. Pour l'instant, personne ne peut dire qu'une loi a été violée. S'il y a violation de loi, ça va s'exprimer. Il y aura un juge qui va dire, qui va rendre verdict, qui rendra verdict par rapport à cela. Non, mm -hmm. uh, il a juste posé la question d'une question que je voulais poser. Nous avons vu une loi internationale international law from, from Hollande, précisément qui a écrit au président de la République asking him for that they are going to be defending Professor Maurice Kanto. Uh, should he be arrested or any of uh, those to manifest tomorrow? Uh, do we need this at this uh, stage? Don't we have uh, competent uh, law firms in Cameroon? <laughs> anyway, every, anybody has a right to have a lawyer from anywhere he wants. Mm -hmm. that's, I think that's his right. It is not something that uh, we are supposed to determine whether we should get lawyers from the nation or out of the nation is somebody's mm -hmm. right uh, but what actually made me a little bit uh, surprised was the way the letter was written it was actually written uh, it was like an intimidation it was used to intimidate uh, an institution and as well as the administration of Cameroon uh, apart from that uh, <laughs> I want to say that uh, that particular idea of going to the streets to march is a right not a privilege we should not forget that it's a right not a privilege but like uh, barista actually said it is supposed to be according to the law we know that we are a signatory to the un charter which actually encourages uh, 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 that particular peaceful march 
as well as uh, the Cameroon preambles actually states it, which makes it a right to a Cameroonian to actually have that opportunity to march, not a privilege. Uh, what actually made me the other day to be disturbed, which I think uh, the, 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 the law firm, the international law firm is targeting, is the fact that the Minister of Territorial Administration actually sent out his communique indicating what will happen for those who will go out to the street. Uh, already, it seems as if the life of uh, the leader of MRC and most of his militants are already threatened. And as a result of that, it is just obvious that at a particular period of time, some people can uh, get to start making it clear that if in case something happens with me, this is what is going to happen. And so that law firm is speaking in the place of the leader of that party. If anything happens with me, we are going to meet in court, not only in Cameroon, but internationally. And I saw some uh, threats to actually uh, freeze the accounts of some officials. The question I'm asking is, we have been in a war for close to four years in, in the Northwest and the Southwest, mm -hmm. and none of those kind of communiques have come to freeze. And first of all, they have not free frozen any of the, their, their accounts. Neither uh, have there been a one-to-one -one sanction. Why is it that it's just concerning an individual? Is there an, a hidden agenda behind it? Is it like uh, it is uh, the international organization that is actually sponsoring Camto in order to destabilize Cameroon and then take advantage of it to come into Cameroon and, and, and exploit and loot Cameroon? I, I'm thinking that this is a game that is going to okay. uh, cost Cameroon a lot okay. from what I'm seeing. Dr. Dr. Ako John Ako, um, is this outing or the letter from the... Uh, Amsterdam-based law firm, is this an extra pressure to bear on the Cameroon government? Uh, you know, at the level of where we are presently within the public manifestation, everybody mm. is trying to play politics and bringing your own actors to talk on your behalf, maybe give you a plus. Mm. Equally putting the government on athlete or on a vigilant mode, remember, we are not just saying that there are threats to use force, there's already force being used. Mm. Uh, about four or five days ago, members of the stand-up were blocked somewhere in Yaoundé, and we're talking of some few days ago again in Douala, some mm -hmm. of their members were arrested. And five arrested. of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine that if those members were members of the MRC party, then the law firm is going to intervene. They're already mm -hmm. giving a notice that they are ready or standing by. That is equally meaning that diplomatically, the MRC party has gone a step ahead to say in case of any dispute, they are having already partners abroad. If a foreign law firm is intervening be very careful there might be a link between this foreign law firm and the government of that nation it is but normal so now coming within it uh, we will not consider it as a threat they have just announced their participation in case of any rupture because they know already when you look at everything some people even declared that president moise Camto might be passing his last night with his family and that may spend the rest of his life in prison gives an indication already and i've said threats might equally be direct or consequently the crime committed. Uh, but it still knows that when we attempt to commit a crime, even when it is not achieved, it is considered a crime committed. While we have, uh, like I'm saying, the law firm is right within political opinion, the MRS party of Police Moin Kamto is not only obliged to take only Cameroonian law firm, they have a right to take their lawyers where such capacity warrants them to reach. And the government of Cameroon should not also be threatened considering that it's a state of law and that everything they are going to do whatsoever will be done within the aspect of the law. So if we are doing things within the state of law and then it happens as the law has decreed, whether a law firm is coming from the U.S. or is coming from Bosnia, Herzegovina, I don't think it should be a call or even pressure on the government because Cameroonian police have been well trained and we believe very strongly that tomorrow they will instead be there. Like the law gives them, they are forces of law and order. The forces of law and order does not say we should cause brutality on the people but to maintain order so they should equally basically help the people to maintain the order that we need there should be no looting there should be no destruction there should be no burning and that everybody i insist that everybody who goes out of a civil protest then the law can follow its cost okay the law can follow its course um do we uh, wh what do you make of uh, this call for an international law firm to come to the rescue of Professor Maurice uh, Kanto and uh, possibly those who would dare to come out tomorrow? Self-serving narrative. Okay. 
what is the international law firm coming to do in Cameroon that Cameroon lawyers cannot do? Self-serving narrative is just bluff. That, that law firm coming, when did they study Cameroon law? It's nonsense. Now look, uh, let me answer what I heard this man, this man say here, because I don't know his age. I left University of Yaoundé in 1982. I was tutored by Professor Ntamak, Professor Ntamak, George Ngango, just know the names, Joseph Owona. I don't know how many of those people, because Kamto taught people who taught me. Joseph Owona, Bipum Wum. I don't know how many of those were taught by Kamto, but I think they, they taught Kamto. They taught Kamto. So you should know the way you are talking. Kamto is a university. Yes, Listen, Kamto, you are, you are the one looking for trouble, and I will open you today. Kamto is a university lecturer. He is not a professor. He is what they call Metro de Conference. So please, cut your quote according to your size. Kamto is not a professor. He is using that prof that title professor abusively. He is what they call Metro de Conference. Kamto oh. lawyer. Well, I will cite Professor Gatsi, who issued a letter. Thank you. So, Sorry, I thank you. Gatsi thank you. Fake. Okay. <laughs> Gatsi fake. <laughs> oh. All right. So, you have your answer. Kamto cannot teach me. He cannot teach me. Instead, I can teach him. I am trainer of trainers in Wada. Let him come. I will teach me what I was. Let him in come. Kamto oh, is a big man. No, no, no. Oh, no, excuse me. No, no. Uh, excuse me, sir. Because he has crashed my professional side. I cannot leave him go. Uh, we have Mota and all the rest in prison. What is What are they doing there with your expert boss? Who is lawyer is everything he should come and show us his expertise by pulling his people out of prison he he cannot how many people have ever brought pulled out of prison not even one you want to look at my record just go to the courts now uh, you are asking about the the the, the, the belgian firm i said it's pure trash is verbiage let's take the case of Yutabe. we had firms from nigeria that came here right we had lawyers from Nigeria who came here on the opening of the case. By the time it was finishing, none of them were still there. This very Mr. Kamto, he brought us a lawyer here from France who is today Minister of Justice. What success did he obtain when he came? Dupont Moretti, he was here. What success did he get? He entered the plane and went back. He ended up saying he wanted to meet the President of the Republic. Please look, leave that thing. I am telling you that if it is. Mais il est hors sujet, Monsieur Leo. Oh my Leo. God. Monsieur le moderateur. Monsieur le moderateur. Attends, si tu as vu sa position, tu peux me dire demander à. Mais vous êtes hors sujet, maître. On va prendre que vous ne comprenez pas où on a autre chose. Vous êtes hors sujet. You see, uh, you leave lawyers in Cameroon. They say they have lawyers. But I will bet you, huh? you have lawyers, but. Vous êtes hors sujet. All your lawyers, we all know ourselves. They know that criminal law is a sure thing. You know it. Um, um, uh, so, uh -huh. so you don't leave law criminal lawyers in Cameroon. Go carry lawyers from from uh, Belgium. And let me tell you something because the public has to be informed. Any lawyer coming out of Cameroon to get a court, you must elect domicile. In a lawyer in, the, in a yeah, maybe, maybe those dispositions have, right. have been taken already. Uh, if it had been taken, they would have said we will be uh, a, a, in court through uh, X Y Z chambers. Yeah, but what is wrong? What is wrong in uh, bringing a lawyer from out of the country? Maybe uh, they prefer they have more confidence in uh, these guys, judging from maybe their track record. Uh, uh, you see, the truth inside is that uh, CRM knows that they don't mm. even need to match. This government is very tolerant. The law is the law. The government is very tolerant. They don't even need to match tomorrow. They are already prisoners. That's why they are looking for lawyer before they, <laughs> before they match it. No, truly. Because, like a, a, a doctor said, the simple fact that you say, I am going to, you are a criminal already. Okay, please. We are out of time. We are out of time. I'll just take, I'll, I'll give all of us one, one minute uh, to conclude. Uh, tomorrow, uh, to be or not to be, uh, is um, the opposition going to enter a different trend? After tomorrow, I'm not of the opposition political party. I will not. At least you have a reading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, so yeah, but I will not want to go into the minds of opposition. But mm. I've said since come to announce what he announced that tomorrow is a historic day in the history of Cameroon. Mm. Whether it comes to pass or it doesn't come to pass, history has it, and history will have it that the 22 of September 2020, a certain politician 
of a political party called the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, Professor Maurice Camto kept the Cameroon government on a tight seat. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, what happens? Do you think the, the opposition after tomorrow is going to see more need uh, to work as a coalition? Uh, for as an individual, I don't know, and I don't uh, even expect that there should be opposition parties. I'm one of those persons that actually believe in Pan-Africanism, and I believe that uh, opposition parties are systems that the, government, the, 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 the Europeans created in order to keep Africans constantly separated. It's true that they have their own political parties, but there's a lot of maturity in the way they handle their things there based on the fact that they have had a lot of, a, a lot of uh, maturity with time. But when it comes to Africans, Africans, they just came and imposed something on us which actually cannot work within our system. So there's need for that particular idea of uh, democratic and political parties and opposition parties to be eliminated. Are you that African nations should be uh, ruled by, by monarchs? Uh, I, am I am I saying that should, what, should used to, what used to happen in the name of single party sh could, should be modified and arranged in a way where we can change leaders necessarily not having opposition parties. Okay, we should, we should uh, go according to the Chinese model. Yes. The commun communism. Yes. We, um, après, 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 après demain, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Ce qui se passe après demain, mm. c'est que le peuple aura exprimé sa souveraineté. C'est que le peuple aura empêché que, euh, une loi au service d'une dictature, comme maître Sam défend tout à l'heure. Tout ce qu'il dit, on se rend compte qu'on est dans une dictature. Et pour qu'on soit dans une dictature, après demain, la seule loi qui devrait apporter le bien-être, ça qu'on parle, le bien-être aux Camerounais va triompher. Et ce sera la loi du peuple camerounais et non la loi d'une dictature par des personnes aigries, jaloux de M. Camteau et aux compagnies. Mais ce sera la loi mise sur pied par le peuple camerounais, pour l'intérêt de tous les Camerounais, pour combattre l'injustice. Par tout ce qu'il raconte là, on se rend compte que c'est une dictature, une autocratie, dont les lois ont été taillées à juste valeur pour que les avocats du diable viennent défendre ses positions. Mais le peuple camerounais, le peuple camerounais demain, va parler, va faire ce qu'il a à faire, et après demain, nous aurons des lois qui vont respecter le peuple camerounais. Ok um, what do you see after tomorrow in Cameroon's politics? I believe after tomorrow in Cameroonian politics, not telling a line, the like member of the civil society, mm -hmm. I already see that the civil society was left out in this fight. We said some time ago, I believe Professor Mark and others said, change comes to nations from nowhere. It has never happened in any nation from nowhere. I'm sure as not say so. Come from political parties or the civil society movement. And I believe what the government of Cameroon has done is to create a weak civil society up to date. These were the people. Imagine I like, can ask a question that if this call to ask President Paul Bia was posted by Ako John Ako, I believe the sympathy people will have for that individual that is not in government, he has not been here, he's not part of any political party, sympathizers will be more than or they have, might have great cacophony in the ranks of the government because the opposition will surely rally such a movement which is not of any of any class or any group. This is where we are. We are calling on all Cameroonians to be civil, uh, civil, and I mean carry out their activities as any other ordinary citizens, but they have the freedom. I mean the will to stand and the will to fall belongs to them. The law is there to protect or to check on the excesses. Okay. Um do we uh, foresee the Reform Party working in closer collaboration with other political movements uh, after tomorrow? Well, uh, you, uh, like you must have noticed, mm -hmm. I think it was Professor McAntony who said, um, CRM went solo. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever consulted me, as always. They do their things, they stand up and announce and go ahead, and then the other parties have to follow them. So. Uh, in that type of framework, sir, we shall all continue to, every, each and every one of us will continue to mine his bread. I don't see any way. I, anyway, I cannot, reform party that I heard cannot work with any party that is going illegally. You want to go illegal, don't count on reform party. My party will not support anything that goes against the law. You, if you like, call that CPDM. I don't know since when being Republican is CPDM. You have to respect the laws of the land. 
you have to the law is the law it applies to everybody if we have a lawless society then there's no society so reform party stands for the respect of the rule of law a political party should not do what we see tomorrow by the end of the day i'm sorry to say this those who would most who must have ventured out will be lying somewhere trying to read the clock Okay, lying somewhere trying to lick the clock out of you. And uh, okay, and, uh, okay, and, uh, okay. We want to turn. We turn. We want to turn. We want to turn. We want to turn. Everybody who took time of uh, to be part uh, of this program. Thank you, Prince, for coming. Thank you very much for having me on the program, Mr. Leo. It's always a privilege being on board. A special good evening to Lord Kenda Simon Sondi and the, everybody watching, Mr. Jidi Land of Honor. And to you, uh, Professor Mark Antony, thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Mr. Leo, and to the million viewers out there who actually spend time watching us. Alex, merci d'être venu. Merci, merci euh, d'avoir presque une opinion et surtout d'avoir démontré sur ce plateau que euh, Maître Achou est juste fâché parce qu'il n'a pas été consulté. <rire> et l'avocat du diable pour nous, et nous sommes là pour défendre le peuple camerounais, on le consulte ah, parce qu'il défend le RDPC. <rire> Ok, <laughs> Dr. Akou, thank you for coming. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. At any time there is a cause to defend Cameroon and its citizens, we are quite affected. Senior Barista, we are grateful that you were part of this program. Thank you. Your program is uh, an eye opener to the society. And I hope the, 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 the viewers have, been, uh, have picked <laughs> one or two things from today's discussions. <laughs> We want to thank all of you who took time off to watch the program. Uh, tons and tons of messages. You saw there was no time for me to read the messages. I uh, want to say thank you to you, Eli, who is producing this program, and to you, Desmond, Paul, and uh, those at the broadcasting. Equally, uh, thank you to you, Tabi, Tambe Bryant, who is supervising our work out here. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.